I'm Joel Thierstein, President of West Virginia Wesleyan College. I want to welcome you all to today's ceremony. I want to welcome parents and friends and family, welcome faculty and staff, and most importantly, welcome students. Thomas Jefferson once wrote, an educated citizenry is a vital requisite for our survival as a free people. Today, we honor those among us who are not only educated, but who have excelled in their education. It is our sincere hope that those of you who are honored here today will take that education and share it with those around you. Only through education can we stand united as a free people. Thank you all for coming. It is my great pleasure, honor, and privilege to be among such excellence. Thank you, and welcome to today's ceremony. Welcome to our virtual 2020 Academic and Leadership Awards Ceremony here at West Virginia Wesleyan College. I'm James Moore and I'm the Dean and we thank President Thierstein for that welcome that he provided us. As everybody is aware, we are all socially distant from one another and so uh, we wanted to do this in a way that would try to be meaningful and special for all of you. I want to say personally that we as a college miss each and every student, faculty member, and staff member in our community. Students, we know this is a challenging time for you, and I want you all to know that we miss you very, very much. And we can't wait until we're able to see you all back here very soon. So let's begin. West Virginia Wesleyan College continues to take great pride in the rigor of our academic programs and our rich co-curricular opportunities, something that we're all missing right now. We're proud today to honor our students for their success in academic pursuits and their significant contribution to the quality of life on this amazing campus. We also salute parents and other family members who have supported them in their efforts and play a key role in their success. Let's move on to the awards. And I will do the best I can with people's names. Since none of you are here, I haven't been able to run around campus and find you to make sure I'm pronouncing your names correctly. Wish me luck. Our first award comes from the athletic area and it is the Sam Ross Athlete, Athlete Award. The Sam Ross Scholar Athlete Award is presented each year to one female and one male athlete for their outstanding work in the classroom as a student athlete. At Wesleyan, Samuel Morgan Ross, an alumnus, served as Associate Vice President of Alumni Relations, Director of the Centennial Fund, Head Football Coach, Director of Athletics, and Dean of Students. Quite a busy person. Please join me in honoring this year's award recipients, Celia Oliver, Cecilia Oliver, and Clay Todd, winners of the Female and Male Sam Ross, Sam Ross Scholar Athletes of 2019-2020. Congratu congratulations, Cecilia and Clay. Next is our Campus Life Award. This student has been a member of the Campus Life staff for three years. Reliable, dependable, trustworthy, and efficient only begin to describe this outstanding staff member a mentor and role model to her staff and the residents in her residence hall. She leads by example, excelling in programming, community development, and conduct enforcement, garnering the affection of her peers and faculty and staff alike. The Campus Life Office is proud to announce Adriana Aggie Lamasters as their staff member of the year. Congratulations. Next, the Center for Community Engagement. Sullivan Foundation Awards. 
West Virginia Wesleyan College is a member of the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Foundation, which was founded in honor of the lives of service of Algernon and Mary Mildred Sullivan. The awards have been given out since 1890 to recognize individuals whose nobility of character and service to others sets them apart as examples to all. The recipient of the Sullivan Awards are individuals who champion social change through active citizenship. Leanna Barkley will receive the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award for her work in promoting issues related to gender equality and her organization of this year's Social Justice Week. Amanda Frame will receive the Mary Mildred Sullivan Award for her work around reducing poverty and leading efforts that connect understanding gained from events like the poverty simulation to, the action, in the, to action in the community. Congratulations to you both. Next is the John Wesley Do All the Good You Can Award. The John Wesley Do All the Good You Can Award is given to students who go above and beyond in their contribution to others. These students are always willing to lend a hand, cheerfully assisting in planning, completing needed tasks, and encouraging their peers to be involved in community service efforts. These student leaders provide guidance and support to others as they work together to meet common goals. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Katherine Wilson, Johnny Joe Hovis, Stephanie Johnson, and Zach Pussy. All are receiving this award for their amazing work on this campus community. Congratulations to you all. Next is the Wesleyan Values Award. These students exemplify the four points of the Wesleyan mission statement, which is evident in their deep commitment to community engagement. These students think critically and creatively, communicate effectively, act responsibly, and demonstrate their local and world citizenship through service. Lauren Hatcher, Kylie Arnold, and Corey Lothar exemplify these Wesleyan values and truly live our mission through their dedication to serving and advocating for others in all facets of their lives. Congratulations. Next is the Outstanding Peer Leader Award. This award recognizes students who consistently encourage and support other students' leadership development promoting their peers' involvement in goals to create social change. They exemplify the characteristics of strong leaders, working side by side with peers to take initiative and provide others with a role model to follow for maximum results for all. Our outstanding peer leaders this year are Emily Rebello and Casey Stallman. Congratulations. Next, awards from Greek life. The Greek Man and Greek Woman of the Year Awards are the highest honors a Greek individual can receive through the Greek system at West Virginia Wesleyan College. Each recipient exemplifies the founding principles of our community, scholarship, leadership, citizenship, and service. Students nominated for these awards have improved our Greek community through extraordinary contributions. Nominees are leaders who are well-respected members of their chapter and of the Greek community. This year, the college recognizes Brandon Richter and Hannah Wiley. Congratulations. Next, International Relations. The Multicultural Leadership Award is presented to an international student who embodies the best qualities of scholarship, leadership, and service. This year's winners are Anthony Rames and Angie Nisliana. Congratulations to you both. Moving on to our academic departments. The art department recognizes students in each class for their extraordinary talent and commitment to their discipline. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients. The Outstanding Senior Award goes to Riley Queen. The Outstanding Junior Award to Emily O'Neill. The Outstanding Sophomore Award to Zorian Meisner. And the Outstanding Freshman Award to Alexia Pruden. Please congratulate these artists. Next, the Department of Biology is pleased to recognize the following students for their efforts in maintaining academic excellence, conducting quality research, and providing outstanding service to the department. This year's outstanding senior is Casey Stallman. Outstanding junior, Hannah Dunn. Outstanding sophomore, Carson Cochran. Two outstanding freshman award recipients, Hayden Hess, and Molly Hall. The outstanding researcher is Lucas Samargo, and the outstanding student worker is Jesse LaBella. Congratulations to these students. 
The Business and Economics Department recognizes outstanding seniors in each major in the department. This year's recipients are Logan Neuer, the Outstanding Student Accountant, Hannah Jones, Outstanding Business Administration Student, Lucas Leipold, Outstanding Economics Student, Marco Golak, Outstanding Management Student, Lisa Karakoff, Outstanding Marketing Student, Lucas Leipold, again, Outstanding Sport Business Student, and Shannon Shago as the Outstanding Five-Year MBA Student. Congratulations. The Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry is pleased to announce several special awards to acknowledge notable student accomplishments by some of its juniors and seniors who have demonstrated academic excellence in the major, departmental service, research, research activity, and significant participation in the benzene ring, Wesleyan's American Chemical Society student affiliate organization. They are also involved in co-curricular activities and are respected members of the Wesleyan community. Several of these students were selected for participation in external summer REU programs. Others were accepted into competitive graduate programs in science, medicine, and health fields. The Outstanding Laboratory Assistant this year award goes to Caitlin Murphy and Hannah Tenney. This award recognizes multiple years of exceptional service and work study in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. These students' efforts are greatly appreciated. The Outstanding Junior Chemist this year is Brittany Green. This award is sponsored by the Northern West Virginia American Chemical Society for academic excellence in a chemistry major and for meaningful involvement in the program. Brittany will be honored at their spring banquet later this month. I hope that banquet is being held virtually, and I hope you get to go, Brittany. The Outstanding Senior Biochemist is Brandon Richter. This award recognizes years of academic excellence, research activity, service to the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, and a firm intention to continue one's education to prepare for a career in medicine, pharmacy, biochemical research, or health-related professions. Congratulations. And the Outstanding Senior Chemist Award this year goes to Timothy Souter. This award is sponsored by the Society for Analytical Chemists of Pittsburgh for noteworthy performance, research activity, service to the department, and intentions to pursue graduate study or employment in some field of chemistry. Timothy, Timothy will be honored in May at an awards banquet in Pittsburgh. Again, I hope the banquet's happening virtually, uh, and I hope you get to be honored there, Timothy. Congratulations. The Department of Communication this year recognizes the Outstanding Student in Communications Award and presents it to Kendall Sherman. They're presenting the Leadership in the Communication Department Award to Carrie Conaway, and the Outstanding Communications Researcher Award is being given to Mallory Cadwell. Mal Mallory Cadell. I'm sorry, Mallory. Mallory Cadell. Congratulations to these students. The Department of Computer Science recognizes Cole Swiger as the Outstanding Computer Science Award recipient. Congratulations. The Criminal Justice Department recognizes Marley Angelucci as the Outstanding Criminal Senior Justice Criminal Justice Senior. Congratulations. The Department of Theater and Dance has two award recipients this year. The Outstanding Dance Award goes to M. Pichon, and the Outstanding Theater Arts Award goes to Savannah Teeter. Congratulations. The Education Department here at Wesleyan College has a number of awards. The Academic Achievement Award is presented in recognition of excellent academic achievement on the part of an education major. This year, the recipients are seniors Savannah Gwynn, Brittany Stowovi, Evelyn Atha, and Taylor Sinate. The Dr. Ruth Mansberger Shear Education Award was established to honor Dr. Ruth Mansberger Shear, who believed that teaching was, quote, an act of reverence. Dr. Shear was known as an outstanding and passionate educator who's dedica who dedicated her professional life to teaching, which spanned a total of 50 years. Of those 50 years, 39 were spent as a professor in Christian higher education, with her last four at West Virginia Wesleyan College from 1988 to 1992. The Dr. Ruth Mansberger Shear Education Award is given annually to an outstanding senior student who's majoring in education at West Virginia Wesleyan College and who exemplifies outstanding academics, excellent pedagog pedagogical skills, 
active learning, and sound decision making. This year, the Dr. Ruth Mansberger Shearer Education Award is presented to Katie Wamsley. Congratulations, Katie. And finally, the Dory McHugh O'Brien Class of 64 Award goes to Madison Motes. Congratulations. Moving on, the Environmental Studies Program recognizes students for academic success, success during the 2019-2020 school year. This year's Outstanding Junior Environmental Science Award recipient is Haley Zinn. Next, the Department of English would like to recognize two students with the Outstanding Senior English Award. These two students are Savannah Gwynn and Maggie Lohman. Congratulations, Savannah and Maggie. The English as Second Language Award this year goes to Yuka Miziyude. Yuka is an economics major from Japan. And Yuka, I hope that you are safe if you are in Japan. I hope you're safe if you're here. We hope all of our students are safe. Moving on, the Exercise Science and Athletic Training Program. Outstanding Senior in Athletic Training, Abigail Bjorken. Abigail currently lives in Tampa, Florida. She's an active member of Alpha Gamma Delta and participated on the women's soccer team for her first two years here at West Virginia Wesleyan College. Abby has shown great leadership within our AT program. She took advantage of completing two different international learning experiences in the summer following her junior year. She completed internships in Granada, Italy and Portugal in the areas of athletic training, physical therapy, and other aspects of healthcare. After graduation, Abby will continue studying athletic training and advancing her knowledge and skills at Missouri State University in Springfield, Missouri in their Master of Science in Athletic Training program. Congratulations, Abigail, and good luck. The freshman with the highest GPA in Athletic Training Award goes to Easton Perry. Easton is a freshman student from Ripley, West Virginia and graduate of Ripley High School. He's the 2018 West Virginia Scholar Award winner a member of the West Virginia Wesleyan College Marching Band, Go Marching Bobcats, and an, a resident assistant. Easton's love of sports is what drew him to athletic training. His professional goals after Wesleyan are to possibly pursue a graduate degree or work as an athletic trainer with high school students or collegiate athletes. Congratulations, Easton. Next is the Delta Psi Kappa David E. Reamsnyder Award. This award represents leadership and excellence in physical, physical education Health and Exercise Science. This award recognizes alumnus David Reamsnyder, who was an outstanding faculty member in kinesiology and physiology. He coached football, cross country, golf, and tennis. He was named an All-American football athlete in the 1930s. His three children are alums, as is his widow, Catherine. David was a great man whose memory is deeply embedded in Wesleyan's history and culture. This year's recipient of the David E. Reamsnyder Award is Anthony Rains. Congratulations, Anthony. The Developing Clinician and Exercise Science Award this year goes to Michaela Smith. Congratulations, Michaela. And finally, from Exercise Science and Athletic Training, the Outstanding Research Student Award in Exercise Science goes to Casey Wagner. Congratulations. Moving on now to the Gender Studies area. The Outstanding Seniors in Gender Studies Awards go to Emily Rubello and Shaylee Kyle. The Putting Theory into Practice Award goes to Leanne Barkley and Jules Kessler. Congratulations, students. History and International Studies. The Outstanding Senior Award in History goes to Madison LaPaul. The Outstanding Junior Award in History goes to Gavin Wilson. The Outstanding International Studies Award for a junior goes to Hannah Benson. Congratulations, students. Next, we have the Internship Awards. This is the four, fourth year for the Outstanding Academic Internship Achievement Awards given by the Student Success Center. The award recipients are selected from a pool of faculty-nominated students who have completed an academic internship for credit during the previous May and summer terms or the current academic calendar year. The award recipients are selected based on their skills and abilities during their internship to clearly apply knowledge from academic courses, 
to demonstrate personal development and growth, and to connect to the greater institutional mission. Based on the recipient's work, they brought honor, prestige, and pride to their alma mater. The recipients this year are Allie Householder. Allie is an English, English major who pioneered an internship with the Offices of Advancement and Marketing. Her internship consists of writing student profiles based on her own personal interviews and research that are used in the college's publicity. And her work has been extraordinary. She has shown remarkable maturity in her early attention to professionalism for her future career. Congratulations. Next is Madison Robinson. Madison is a biochemistry major and interned with Dr. Pete Palco, DO, at Myers Health Clinic in Philippi, West Virginia. While working with Dr. Palco, Madison was able to interact with many different patients in the practice. Beyond the normal experience, Madison had the opportunity to interact with a patient who was diagnosed with hereditary hemochromatosis. I really hope I got that right. Hemochromatosis results in high amounts of iron in the blood and transferrin saturation and can lead to life-threatening conditions such as diabetes, liver disease, and heart failure. This encounter led Madison to writing an, led Madison in writing an outstanding paper on the diagnosis, treatment, and outcomes of hemochromatosis as part of her internship. The experience provided an excellent opportunity for Madison to go beyond the normal everyday interactions in a small family practice clinic and engage with patients in diseases that we, we might only mention in the classroom. Next is Caitlin Ware. Caitlin's enthusiasm, energy, and commitment were a joy for all of us while working with the West Virginia Wilson College Library. She not only did the difficult and time-consuming and often tedious work of sorting through all the files from the chapel, she took the initiative to go out and contact people through in-person and email interviews to better understand what she was finding there. She was able to make connections with alumni and others to find out how religious life has changed on our campus throughout the years. She even managed to help plan and attend a reunion of a group named Love Shine. Caitlin is an excellent example of an intern who was driven by curiosity, enthusiasm, and hard work. Congratulations. Caitlin Cottrell is receiving the Robin C. Davis Experiential Learning Scholarship. Caitlin is a junior and rock star in West Virginia Wesleyan College's Political Science and International Studies programs. Previously, Caitlin received the Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship to study abroad in Jordan and plans on pursuing a career in international relations after attending graduate school. She's also served as a student senator for Wesleyan, as president of Alpha Delta Pi, as Community Coordinator for AmeriCorps Mentor for Energy Express, as a member of We Lead's Poverty Reduction Advocacy Team, and as Dr. Cody Martin's Group Leader for the Politics of the Walking Dead First Year Seminar. In addition to all of this, Caitlin participated in the Fraser Singleton Internship Program in 2019. Now Caitlin is receiving this Experiential Learning, experiential learning Scholarship for the summer, as she will serve as an intern for Senator Shelley Moore Capito in Charleston, West Virginia. Congratulations, Caitlin, and good luck. Next, mathematics. The Hallman Mathematics Award is given in honor of Wil Wil William H. Hallman, a mathematics professor at West Virginia Wesleyan College from 1928 to 1973. That's quite a tenure. Freshman, sophomore, and junior mathematics majors who have shown superior skills and students who have performed outstanding service to the department are chosen as the recipients of this award. This year's honorees are Justin Knotts, Holly Miller, Rebecca Osborne, and Eric Lloyd. Congratulations. Next, the Department of Music. This year, the Department of Music recognizes two outstanding senior music students. These students have worked hard in the field of music and deserve this highly regarded award. Congratulations are certainly in order to Alyssa Perry and Olivia Insani. Congratulations and good luck. The nursing department is pleased to present awards for academic excellence. The Outstanding Senior Nursing Award is presented to two individuals this year, Lauren Krim and Ashton Cole. Congratulations. During Lauren's time at Wesleyan, while being in nursing school, she completed four years on the track and field team, claiming two school records. 
She was a sister of Alpha Xi Delta and is now an alumna. She served as vice president and president of the Panhellenic Executive Committee for the Offices of Greek Life. She's also a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success and the Sigma Theta Tau Honor Society of Nursing. Her future goals include passing the NCLEX and working as a registered nurse at home for a few years and then proceeding to travel nurse after gaining experience. Good luck, Lauren, and be safe. During Ashton's time at Wesleyan, she was a four-year women's swimming athlete, a member of Wesleyan's women's swim team during uh, that won the MEC championship in 2019, was a member of SNOW from 16, 2016 to present, was the SNOW publicist from 2017 to present, and last year was awarded the Outstanding Nursing Junior Award. Congratulations, Ashton. This year's Outstanding Junior Nursing Award is presented to Alyssa Christensen and Gabrielle Cleveland. During Alyssa's time at Wesleyan, she's participated as an active member of the Collegiate 4-H Club, the Delta Upsilon Chapter of Zeta Tau Alpha, the National Society of Leadership and Success, the Student Nurses of Wesleyan, SNOW, Bobcat Entertainment, Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society, and many others. Alyssa assumed the position of Academic Achievement Chairperson for Z ZTA last year, and she is currently serving as the chapter's Recording Secretary. Additionally, she represented the junior class for the WVWC BSM program and is the current Vice President and Treasurer of the Collegiate 4-H Club. Last year, Alyssa was awarded the Outstanding Sophomore Nursing Student Award, as well as the 4-H All-Star Pin. And she has been named among those on the President's List for five consecutive semesters. Following graduation, Alyssa plans to work as an RN and pursue her Master's Degree in Nursing in the hopes of one day becoming a nurse practitioner. Gabrielle Cleveland is a student athlete and has held the position of starting goalkeeper for the women's lacrosse team at Wesleyan since her freshman year. During Gabrielle's freshman year, she was recognized as the MEC all, on the MEC All-Freshman Team. Gabrielle has served as a volunteer firefighter and EMT during her freshman and sophomore years. She is currently taking a break from volunteer work to focus on nursing school. Gabrielle has been a member of the Zeta Tau Alpha, of Zeta Tau Alpha since the fall of 2018. The Outstanding Sophomore Nursing Award is presented to Colleen, Hot, Hot, Colleen, I'm sorry, Colleen Hotinger and Charles Wolfong. Colleen is currently a sophomore at West Virginia Wesleyan College. During her time at Wesleyan, she has been inducted into Alpha Lambda Delta, an honor society for students who achieve a 3-5 GPA or higher during their freshman year of college. She's also an active member of Student Nurses of Wesleyan. One of Colleen's favorite extracurricular activities is being a mentor for the First Generation Peer Mentor Program, as she enjoys helping to guide freshman peers through the same struggles she experienced as a first generation college student. Colleen hopes to continue to be an active mentor for the program during her time at West Virginia Wesleyan. She devotes her time to studies and takes pride in the fact that she has remained on the president's list with a 4.0 GPA throughout her enrollment at West Virginia Wesleyan. In the future, she plans to attend Wesleyan to obtain her master's degree and become a family nurse practitioner. Congratulations. Charles Hunter Wilfong is an upcoming junior in the School of Nursing. He was Vice President of the freshman class where he attended meetings and developed many fundraising ideas. Charles has been a service scholar for going on two years and as a service scholar he is expected to do a minimum of four hours of community service each week. Charles lives in the Buchanan Fire, Charles lives, lives in the Buchanan Firehouse where he voluntarily runs emergency calls with the team whenever he is not in class. Charles' goal is to graduate from the nursing program in 2022 with a BSN degree. Congratulations to these nursing recipients. Next, the Department of Religious Studies has two award recipients this year. Amanda Holland is disciplined, conscientious, hardworking, and attentive to detail. Her quiet demeanor should not be mistaken for a lack of passion. She cares deeply about social justice as evidenced by her senior thesis in which she offers a rich 
theological critique of the phenomenon of toxic charity. Next is Clay Todd. Clay is thoughtful, kind, and teachable in the best, in the best sense, open to engaging the views of others with respect and a willingness to learn. Committed to his own deeply held religious convictions, he brought all these gifts and skills to bear on his the senior thesis project which looked at the backlash against American evangelicism in the era of Trump. Congratulations to these two outstanding religious studies students. This year's recipient of the Outstanding Philosophy Major Award is Rachel England. Congratulations, Rachel. The Department of Physics and Engineering offers four different degrees. The BS in Physics winners include a student who studied at the National Institute of Standards and Technology and a member of the Space Club. The recipients this year are Arthur Asfeld, Spencer Combs, Justin Knotts, Bryson Pearl, and Anna Puigvert. Congratulations. The BA in Physics winners include a student who had a summer internship studying nanocrystals at the University of Oregon. This year's recipients are Madison Fox, Garrett Hobson, Sean Lawman, Nate Swally, and Timothy Souter. Congratulations. The BS in Applied Physics winners include a student who studied in the Czech Republic and a student who had an internship studying magnetism at the University of South Florida. The recipients are Alexander Bradley Popovich, Anthony McIntosh, Noah Osborne, Spencer Rogers, and Bailey Senator. Congratulations. And finally, the BA dual degree physics engineering winners this year include four student athletes and two students with perfect 4.0 GPAs. The recipients this year are Cameron Branch, Esteban Fernandez, Peyton Hefner, Jackson Igo, and Rebecca Sakura. Congratulations. Moving on to political science, the Outstanding Senior Political Science Award this year goes to John Antolini. Congratulations, John. This year's recipients of awards from psychology, the Outstanding Senior Awards go to Madison Prickard, Jacqueline King, Leanna Barkley, and Emily Rebello. Congratulations. Leanna is a service scholar, the Vice President of Psychi, the coordinator of the We Lead Gender Equity Team, a mentor for the First Generation College Students Peer Mentoring Program, 1G Link, and the campus founder of TRIADA, the Gender Studies Honors Society. She's completed research for her Gender Studies thesis entitled Understanding Racism in the United States. Research for her Sociology thesis titled Impacts of Voter Suppression on Substantive Representation of Marginalized Populations and research for the Upshur County Development Authority on increasing access to remote work and telework. Timely research. Leanna also interned with, our, with, also interned with Youth Health Services, a company that provides a range of therapy services to children and adolescents throughout several West Virginia counties. What she said is an opportunity that she is so thankful for. Leanna will be attending the University of Pittsburgh starting this fall to begin completing her Master's of Social Work and eventually become a licensed clinical social worker. Congratulations and good luck. Emily Rebello is graduate, graduating with a BA in Psychology and Gender Studies. Her psychology senior thesis is titled Gender Difference in Risk Decision Making. She has served as an issue team leader for the We Lead Gender Equity Team for the past two years, works as a writing tutor in the Writing Center, is a member of Alpha Xi Delta, Psi Chi, Triada, and Omicron Delta Kappa. She will be attending the University of Pittsburgh's master's program for social work. Good luck and congratulations. The Sociology and Social Justice Department recognizes two recipients this year who are receiving the John Warner Award. The Dr. John R. Warner Sociology Award was established in 2010 in memory of Dr. Warner, a much loved friend and professor. The award was initiated to honor Dr. Warner's service to Wesleyan as a professor of sociology from 1970 until his retirement in 2005. Today, this award is being given to a student who demonstrates perseverance in academic work, 
who exemplifies academic integrity and demonstrates superior knowledge of sociology. Samantha Martini has shown excellence during her time here at West Virginia Wesleyan College. Please join me in congratulating Samantha from afar. And I was wrong, there's only one award recipient. Samantha, congratulations. Also, the Department of Sociology would like to recognize Leanna Barkley with the Outstanding Senior Award. Congratulations, Leanna. Next are awards that are some of my favorite to read, the Wesleyan Spirit Awards. Initiated in 1988, the Wesleyan Spirit Awards were instituted to recognize students who by their positive attitudes around the college, level of contribution to the life of campus, and their upbeat approach to the overall college experience simply, quote, make our day. One male and one female student from each of the four classes are selected annually to receive this honor. Freshman recipients this year are Courtney Gray and Santiago Savazos. Freshmen are Pippa McGinley and Jacob Spruce. Juniors are Sarah Wilmoth and Owen Lindsay. And seniors are Saul Exposito and Corey Lothar. Congratulations and thank you all for making our days better. Next are the Senior Academic and Leadership Achievement Awards. The 2019-2020 recipients have been selected for their significant contributions to the college in academic and co-curricular life. Their ability to balance these two aspects of the experience at Wesleyan has allowed them to become respected campus leaders and examples of total student development in the best sense of that term. So, congratulate these people from afar. Kylie Arnold, Marley Angelucci, Leanna Barkley, Mallory Cadell, Ashton Cole, Carrie Conaway, Lauren Krim, Lisa Fidler, Tim Friend, John Gellner, Maddie, Maddie Gorska, Savannah Gwynn, John Harvey, Lauren Hatcher, Olivia Insani, Jacqueline King, Logan Neuer, Aggie LeMasters, Laurel Lloyd, Corey Lothar, Caitlin Murphy, Alyssa Perry, Gabriella Sager, Shannon Shago, Timothy Souter, Jacob Swiger, and Amanda Webb. Congratulations. The 2019-2020 Outstanding Seniors. Nominated by faculty and staff, these seniors were chosen on the basis of academic performance with a 3.75 GPA or above and significant leadership in a variety of academic and co-curricular activities. These superior seniors, who best exemplify the high ideals of student involvement and contribution to campus, have shown an uncommon commitment to academic excellence, participation in campus life, and service to the college. First is Hannah Jones. Hannah Jones, a business administration and international studies double major from Charleston, West Virginia, has earned the honor of Outstanding Senior through an ambitious academic track record paired with a long list of campus involvement and contributions. While a student athlete on the volleyball team, she achieved a 3.87 GPA, earning all academic team honors in the Mountain East Conference each of her four years. She supplemented her double majors with an honors minor and boasts membership in several honor societies, including Alpha Lambda Delta, Delta Mu Delta, Omicron Delta Kappa, and the National Society of Leadership and Success. She has taken her educational pursuits abroad, traveling as a Bruins Scholar recipient to study religion and culture at Chiang Mai University in Thailand in summer of 2018, as well as to EM Strasbourg Business School in France during the spring of 2019, where she studied business and international politics. Hannah has garnered valuable work experience as a governor's intern within the Department of Environmental Protection, a social media ambassador for the CEPA Foundation promoting study abroad programs, completing research alongside the Upshur County Economic Development Authority, and most recently as an international trade intern with the West Virginia Development Office. Her extensive contributions to our campus community also include a variety of service and leadership roles holding various positions within Alpha Xi Delta sorority, most recently serving as new member orientation director, 
a member of the We Lead Human Rights Team, a Wesleyan Student Ambassador, and an ESL tuner. Congratulations to the very deserving and very busy Hannah Jones. Next is Jules Kessler. Outstanding senior Jules Kessler is a gender studies major graduating a year early with a 4.0 GPA. Jules has been an integral part of the social justice and social awareness program on Wesleyan's campus. Jules has been an active member of the Black Student Union, PRISM, and Center for Community Engagement during the, the last three years. He has facilitated events around Social Justice Week and community organizing for the Poor People's Campaign, where he was the regional organizer. Jules is a natural community organizer, having hosted the Holler Network to help community members understand and participate in activist movements. Jules presented at the WVWC Gender Studies Conference, attended the Racial Justice Summit and Duke Feminist Theory Workshop, and presented at the Center for Popular Democracy's People, Con People Convention. He is a steering member of the State Together Apple of State Together Appalachia, where he focused on enriching the Appalachian culture through music, poetry, skill sharing, and political education. Over the last year, Jules has served as an intern in the Office of Multicultural Programs and Services, Restorative Justice, and Our Future West Virginia, where he focused on research and infrastructure building in regards to civility and access, all while performing in campus ensembles like jazz, dance, and the Appalachian Ensemble, and the Gospel Choir. He serves on the conduct board, and making music with his friends is one of his great joys. Jules is truly a Wesleyan gem. Congratulations, Jules. Next, Marcus, Loss Marcus Larson. Outstanding senior Marcus Larson made quick work of making his mark on Wesleyan's campus after coming to us as a transfer student during his sophomore year. Marcus hails from Solna, Solna, Sweden, carries a 3.59 GPA, and is a political science and history double major. He's pushed himself to take on a growing list of pursuits each year from rigorous academic challenges, study abroad opportunities, campus leadership positions, and commitments in athletics. Not surprisingly, Marcus's efforts have led him to collect a wide breadth of involvements spanning campus becoming co-captain of the men's basketball team, vice president of the Black Student Union, president of Pi Sigma, I'm sorry, president of Pi Sigma Alpha Political Science Honorary, member of Phi Alpha Theta Honorary, student athlete advisory committee representative, and a resident assistant. Among his exceptional achievements were his study abroad opportunities to both Uganda and Rwanda as a Gilman and Saunders Scholarship recipient. Through these gathered experiences, Marcus has decided to pursue a master's in international relations focusing on Africa. Marcus's time at Wesleyan can only be described as significant. He has blazed his own unique path on campus and abroad, and all of us look forward to cheering him on as he goes on to do big things. Congratulations, Marcus. Next, Madison LaPole. Outstanding senior Madison LaPole is a history and political science double major from Inwood, West Virginia. History and political science is cleaning up right now. Uh, a history and political science double major from Inwood, West Virginia, and has made in, an impression in many areas of this campus. With a 3.88 cumulative GPA, she has several notable academic achievements, such as a summer study abroad in Waseda University in Tokyo in 2018, entry into Pi Sigma Alpha Phi, Pi Sigma Alpha, Phi Alpha Theta, and Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Societies, and as a, final, and as a finalist in the U.S. State Department's Critical Language Scholarship Program. A member of the women's soccer team, Madison has earned numerous awards for her work in the classroom and on the field, including recognition as a Division II Conference Commissioners Association, all South Region Academic First Team and All Atlantic Region First Team, in addition to MEC First Team All Conference. On campus, Madison has served as a Student Conduct Board member, member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee and the We Lead Human Rights Team and Peer Council, and has also assisted classmates as a tutor for history and political science courses. Madison has had strong involvement with 4-H, 
having been an active component of the Collegiate 4-H Club here on campus. But her opportunities within the greater organization have been expansive. She was a chartering member of the West Virginia 4-H, has been named a West Virginia 4-H All-Star, attended a 4-H China learning adventure in Beijing and the Shanghai province, and served as a counselor and an extension camping instructor responsible for, facil for facilitating youth camps across the state. Madison has actively pursued work experiences to challenge and prepare her for her future career, including internships with the West Virginia House of Delegates, the Upshur County Development Authority, and the Clyde Law, Law Offices here in Buchanan. We have no doubt that Madison will continue to do great things beyond our campus, and we've been very grateful for the influence that she's had on West Virginia Wesleyan. Congratulations. We are elated, and I am personally elated, to celebrate outstanding senior Maggie Lohman as an English major with minors in biology, history, political science, and honors, all being completed in her senior year with an impressive 3.99 GPA. This past summer, Maggie completed an international study abroad trip in Khon Kaen, Thailand, where she studied the Thai language, global health, and the history of greater Mekong of the greater Mekong subregion. Maggie has served on Student Senate Executive Council as a campus ambassador, freshman seminar leader, honors program vice president, as well as a host of other student committees. Maggie has served as an intern with the West Virginia House of Delegates where she researched the topics of rolling coal and the mental health of African American males to assist with current bills. Maggie has traveled to Prague, Paris, and Florence with the Honors Program. She has completed and served in major service projects alongside Appalachian Impact and Buddy for Bridgeport Little League, and served the campus community as a writing center tutor during all four years at Wesleyan, and was a member of the Governor's School for the Arts class when I had the honor and privilege of teaching those young people. We're so thankful for the impact that Maggie Lohman has had on this campus. Next is Brandon Richter. Brandon is a biochemistry major from Salem, West Virginia, has dedicated his college experience to pursuing opportunities and gaining knowledge. His path has included supplementing his major with minors in math and honors and completing a summer, research, a summer of research with the West Virginia Idea Network of Biomedical Research Excellence. His impressive 4.0 cumulative GPA and involvement gained him access to three honor societies, Alpha, De Alpha Lambda Delta, Phi Kappa Phi, and Omicron Delta Kappa. Brandon has served in leadership roles in two of these three organizations, as well as service chair, vice president, and president of his fraternity, Alpha Sigma Phi. Throughout his Wesleyan career, Brandon has enriched his skill set and abilities by serving others. His work ranges from tutoring at Stockard Youth Center and invasive species pulls at the Riverwalk to annual cleanups at Buchanan's Old Hebner Cemetery and Jawbone Park. Not only did he participate in projects like these, but he has been instrumental in coordinating Red Cross blood drives on campus and helping his fraternity to increase their annual philanthropic donations by more than $900. This impressive array of involvement and academic success opened doors for Brandon to attend the University of California, Berkeley for medical school. However, Brandon is looking to stay a little closer to home and to our home among the hills this fall by attending either West Virginia University or the University of Pittsburgh. Congratulations, Brandon. Next is Casey Stallman. Outstanding senior Casey Stallman is a biology major with a concentration in molecular biology and biotechnology and a minor in psychology. Casey is finishing her college career with a 3.9 GPA. Casey is on track to become a leading medical researcher. Last summer, Casey spent six weeks in Madagascar where she studied traditional medicine and healthcare systems. She worked on a project that researched traditional remedy, remedies for diabetes and the integrated healthcare system in Madagascar. Casey has been a member of Zeta Tau Alpha where she served as corresponding secretary, Think Pink chairman, and executive council recording secretary. She's a member of Alpha Lambda Delta, academic honorary, the Benzene Ring Chemistry Club, 
and Beta 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 Biological Honor Society. She is a member of Wesleyan Service Scholars and team leader for We Lead, where she helps organize the Engage Conference as a coordinator and presenter. During her time with We Lead, Casey tackled causes related to invisible illness. During this time, she completed 400 service hours. She established a donation-based fund to help students fund success to counseling, fund access to counseling. As a team leader, she coordinated big events like the Suicide Prevention Walk, where she helped raise $3,000, coffee and conversations, interactive conversations about mental health, mind, body, and athletics, a mental health program for the student athletes, and educating the community about the opioid crisis. We are so excited and proud to see Casey save lives, and we know that she will go on to continue to, to do that sort of important work. Congratulations. Finally, the Inspirational Award. What inspires us most is ordinary people who have done extraordinary things. We appreciate when someone has the ability and willingness to be selfless, creative, innovative, or just dares to be different. The Wesleyan Inspirational Award is only given when one of our students truly define the word inspiration. And it is the college's absolute honor and pleasure to designate Clay Todd as exactly that. Clay has gone above and beyond for his campus and local communities, always demonstrating the highest standards of character. Clay has contributed countless hours of service and volunteerism through various channels, including his roles within the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Christian Fellowship Church, and the men's basketball team. He has come alongside numerous organizations to participate in or organize volunteer efforts. The Literacy Volunteers of Upshur County, both Buchanan Upshur High School and Middle School, the Parish House, the Opportunity House, to name just a few. But what has been most special to witness about Clay's service in all these arenas is the true humanity behind his efforts. He connects with people, sees or hears of a need and strives to meet it, not to collect service hours or gain recognition, but to be a light to others. He seems to always find a way to do more and give extra of himself. But perhaps the most significant of all of Clay's contributions has been his mentorship of two young boys in the community, Cody and Colin Bailey. He was first introduced to the family a few years ago by his pastor amid a challenging time for them. Clay began taking time out of his schedule to play basketball with the young boys, talk with them, eat lunch with them at school, and attend their basketball games. During this time, the boys lost their father unexpectedly, and Clay, alongside with his own brother, came alongside the family to help in caring for the boys as the family grieved and grappled with the loss. Cody and Colin's mother wrote of Clay, quote, He has truly shown us love and compassion and what kindness is in the world today. I couldn't ask for a better role model for my sons. We have been beyond blessed to have him as a part of our life. My name is Cody Bailey. I'm making this video to show how much Clay Todd means to me. Clay means the world to me, and just because of the reason why, is because he's a great person and a great role model. Whenever I need someone to talk to or just hang out with, I can always contact him and he'll be there for me. He's, he's a great person overall, and whenever I want to play basketball with him or anything, talk to him, talk about sports or anything, he's there. My name is Colin Bailey, and this video is about how much Clay Todd means to me. He's a big, he's, he's like a big brother to me. He's like a good role model. He's like a family member, basically. He like, because like he took us on vacation and all that. And then, like, he's a good role model. Like, when I need to go talk to someone, he's, he's always there. If I'm bored, I could text him or anything. So many have looked to and relied on Clay. But what we also hope to recognize today is that Clay has not just served others when it was convenient, but while facing adversaries of his own. He suffered a severe injury that cost him an entire season, and members of his own family battled significant health challenges. Former Wesleyan head, head men's basketball coach Jack Merriweather wrote in, a, in support of this award, quote, Clay was brave enough to be vulnerable over his own struggles while still strong enough to always help anyone out who ever needed it. 
The example he set, both on and off the court, made every member of the team better people and better players. Clay leads a life of significance and purpose, so it is for his steadfast integrity, his leadership within our community, and his selfless acts that we are pleased to recognize Clay Todd as the recipient of the 2020 Wesleyan Inspiration Award. So that's the end of our awards and awards ceremony here. It's been a pleasure to be with you, albeit virtually and from a very socially safe distance. And I want to congratulate all of our recipients this year. And I want to say that the most moving part of this for me is being able to spend time looking over this list, reading these biographies as this process unfolds every year and these award recipients' names and honors are filtered through various offices. These individuals exemplify what it means to be a student at West Virginia Wesleyan College. The skills that we instill in our students, the values that we instill in our students, truly do present them with the chance to change the world. At a time now when we desperately need people to be agents of positive change. So congratulations to all the award recipients. Thanks for joining us today. I hope that each of you are safe, healthy, and with your families during this challenging time. Congratulations.